Hey guys, welcome back to iFish NC. Today I'm fishing for sunfish. Just kidding. What's going on folks? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we've got some pond bank fishing action, some spring pond bank fishing action for you guys today. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, I'm just finally glad to have a somewhat decent day. And the good news is that this is, I think this is it. I think it is officially, officially, officially springtime. Uh, and when I say springtime, I mean conditions over 60 degrees, no 50s, no 40s, I think. I think we're done with the 50s, I think we're done with the 40s, I think we're done with all that. Which means that the spawn is coming up. We've got the spawn in probably a few weeks. Um, I think you're gonna, we're probably going to see our first spawning bass in probably a week or so. Uh, two weeks. It's a bit early still, but I think some spawning bass might be uh, coming into effect. I just realized I literally I had my camera like this the entire time. So yeah, we got some spawning fish coming up ahead. I personally don't like uh, bed fishing. I Well, I hate it. I'm gonna be honest. I hate it. I'm like the minority of, of people who hate bed fishing. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But for now, we've got all three of our rigs today. We've got all day long and I'm committed to try and catch some fish. We're gonna head to a pond in which I have caught most five pounders in the spring than any other pond I've fished. The amount of five pounders I've caught, you know, during the spring at this pond is, is pretty pretty insane and, and, and early summer. It's still very early in the spring season, so it's not, you know, it might not be the same. But either way, it's a great spring pond. It's got some chunks. It's got what could be my PB in it. Um, and it's got some good numbers during the summer. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, let's head straight to the pond. All right, so I have no idea when Luke's going to be here. I, didn't, I don't know if he was, like, getting ready to leave now, if he was planning on going. If I mean, it sounded like he was getting ready to just go straight up, like he was getting ready to leave, like, right at the moment. So I'm sure it won't take him too long. Then again, it is Luke, so he's usually about 45 minutes late to every fishing excursion. Let's throw the classic bandito. I just, oh, there you go. There I got, you go. I got bit. I got, got him. Yes, sir. There we go. Come on, baby. That's a good one. That's too. a decent one. That's the one I saw. Okay. You can drag that with me, too. Yeah. There you I go. get him over that log. Hell yeah, dude. There he goes. Not a bad one. Good fish. Get here. Just yes, get him up. Sir. Hell yeah. There you go, man. That's the one you saw right there. Yeah, it is. For sure. Look at hey, that chunk. Look at that tail. Is he bleeding at all? Oh, uh, yeah. He's he, he got hooked in that weird spot. I'm about to get this out carefully. Nice fish. That's a chunky too. That is. Bro, look at that. You got some eggs coming out. Is he really? Yep. Oh wait, no, it's just a, a plant. I was about to say. <laughs> it's a good one though. It is. You mind grabbing me uh, my pliers? Yeah, yeah, I'll go. Appreciate you. What are you thinking? Two and a quarter? I'm gonna say probably just under three. Under three, yeah. Do you want me to get my scale? Uh, sure. Might as well. And yeah, grab me those. Yeah. There it is. A little bit of blood, but luckily it wasn't a gut hook or a gill hook. I don't know if he's quite spawny out with the bloody tail. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, a little bit of blood, but not in the gill. This is exactly what we're looking for. Okay. Yep, yeah, just under three, two point. 2.67. 2.67, all right. There you go. Let me get this out and get them right back in the water. There we are. Nice fish. Heck yeah, all right. A little bit of blood. Let's get them back. Wipe that off for you. And off you go. And there, goes. there she goes. I, it had to have been. I don't see how it couldn't have been any other fish. Heck yeah. Well, folks, uh, one fish so far. We've both been seeing a good amount of action, a good amount of fish. He spotted one fish. I believe I caught that fish that he spotted. Yeah. And we've been fishing shallow water pretty much the entire day. I got one bite after that one fish. I'm out of breath after walking four foot, or four feet above that little hill. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep moving and see if we can catch some more fish. Let me film it. That's a fish. This is first fish. There we go. Took me like an hour, but oh, there's my Senko. He's bleeding too. No, he's not. He doing? finally caught his first fish. Heck yeah. Here he is. He's, pro he's approximately one pound. Yes, sir. But I'll take it. Look at that stuff. Let me get a fish. Absolute one. giant bass. So let's get the line out of the way. There you go. Biggin'. Hmm. Perfect. Anyway, see you later, I guess. 
That's better than your Ooh. other one, right? Chunky boy. Is that bigger than your other one? Yeah, definitely. Choked sure. it. There we go. Second fish for, for me of the day. Uh, probably about a pound and a half or so. Inhaled that uh, that wacky rig. It's actually down his throat, almost towards the gullet, but not quite there. Probably gonna need the pliers for that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yep, smacked it right along the uh, shade over there by some brush. Uh, we're finding there's a lot of fish back in this little corner right here. And uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like they're quite spawning yet. I'm not seeing any bloody tail or anything like that, but we're definitely getting there. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get them unhooked. Hold on, let me get this fish back in the water. Lots of shenanigans going on right now. He's got a fish on a bed. I caught this little guy, my GoPro's not working. Let's get him back in the water and see what's going on. See you later, buddy. So yeah, um, I unfortunately my GoPro, I'm like I said, I'm gonna have to get some batteries when I get back home, but I just caught an absolute monster. He's looking at an absolute tiny one. Um, not quite the opposite. He's got like a huge fish on a, on a bed supposedly right there. And yeah, I just caught that little dink. We've been having a pretty solid day, lots of action. Um, yeah, spring fishing is here. So we'll see what happens here in the next uh, six hours. And I'll, I'll update you guys. Hopefully, I, maybe I'll catch another fish. And if I do, then you guys aren't going to be seeing any GoPro footage of that. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully he catches that one too. No, don't, don't, don't. Another fish. This guy swallowed the hook. I don't know why all these fish keep swallowing these hooks, but another swallowed hook fish yeah you guys are unfortunately not seeing any GoPro footage of this sorry but uh, there's another fish right here he's still doing his thing and yeah let's let's deal with this guy with the camera off well folks that is gonna be it for today's video this is gonna be a very awkward video to edit here um, hope you guys enjoyed it was an awesome day me and Luke had a fishing I actually left a little bit early I believe Luke's actually still there at the pond right now he's still searching for that fish like I said at the beginning of this video I I, I hate bed fishing I really do um, but it's fun I guess uh, for some people and yeah he's looking at a, a huge fish on a bed I saw it uh, I got a glimpse of it it was big definitely definitely his biggest fish of the year if, if had he caught it or who knows I mean he's still fishing so yeah I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching um, like I said, this is going to be a very awkward video to edit and hopefully not a very awkward video to watch. I'll do my best. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and check out Luke's channel. I'll put a link in the description down below. If you are new to the channel uh, or you do enjoy the content, go and hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Uh, I actually looked at my analytics. Apparently 90% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So only 10% of you guys that are watching this right now are subscribed. And the rest of the 90 are not subscribed. So if you're one of the 90%, Hit that subscribe button. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it. But for now, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, folks, capture moments, create memories. I'll see you in the next video.